2024 presidential election has concluded, with Lai Qingde of the Democratic Progressive Party (DPP) securing 5.58 million votes. However, the DPP's support rate dropped by 18% compared to Tsai Ing-wen's performance four years earlier. Experts attribute the shift in votes primarily to Ke Wenzhe of the Taiwan People's Party (TPP), who garnered significant support from young voters. I believe that over 50% of voters under 40 years old have started supporting Ke Wenzhe. After all, the DPP has been in charge for eight years, and with such a duration of governance, there are inevitably some burdens associated with the administration. If you look at TikTok, almost 80% to 90% of political news is in favor of Ko. Ko Wenzhe has set himself apart from traditional blue-green figures by using online media as his main platform, attracting a substantial following among young people. The conventional campaign methods of both the KMT and the DPP no longer hold the same appeal for young voters, who prioritize a politician's charisma. So, how did the DPP secure the election despite losing youth support? Lai Qingde this time, is a very important factor in the region. Lai Qingde's victory is rooted in the DPP's dominance in central and southern Taiwan, including cities like Tainan and Kaohsiung. Analyzing this phenomenon reveals that DPP legislators and representatives consistently connect with locals, ensuring a stable support base. Traditional voters aged 50 and above tend to align with the blue-green political spectrum and are less likely to switch their allegiance. However, young voters have emerged as a crucial demographic. In the 2016 three-way presidential election, Tsai Ing-wen of the DPP secured about 56% support with 6.89 million votes, while KMT's Eric Zhu received around 31% with 3.81 million votes, and James Song garnered approximately 13% support. Looking ahead to 2024, Ke Wenzhe has impressively gained support comparable to what the KMT achieved in 2016, underscoring the rising popularity of his party. Over the long-term accumulation, as people grow weary of the blue-green political affiliation, it's easier for this sentiment to channel into support for a third party. As Lai Qingde begins his upcoming four-year term, proposing policies that resonate with young people becomes a crucial issue. The sustainability of the TPP's popularity in the future remains uncertain. Zhou Yuxian, Li Yanzhi, Huang Qihou, TVBS World, Taiwan.